Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a six month update on a flower stock propagation I had with a B52 and a UK sawtooth. I'm having some pretty good results, especially with the limited flower stocks that I had, so I'm really excited to bring you this update. Real quick before I jump in though guys, thank you so much for being here, I appreciate you so much. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, all that stuff really helps me out a ton. I'm trying hard to open up my own Carnivorous Plant Nursery getting ready to sell my uh, own carnivorous plant soil mix. So those things are in the works and, and your support, you're liking my videos, subscribing to my channel is really helping support that dream and support me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these propagations here. So we have, uh, let me actually, let me throw on the screen here real quick. I'm going to show you what these looked like about uh, four and a half months or so ago. Okay, so you can see they've, they've come a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here now so you guys can see these a little bit more close up. This one over here, this is the B52, right there. You can see you can see the, the brown flower stalk right there. You can see the flower stalk is still there a little bit. But you can see that the B52 has done really, really, really well. They're, they're growing really well. You can see they've got some really nice color. These have been 100% inside under my Vipar Spectralite. So these have not been outside all summer. They've been just inside under my grow light. Uh, this is the other B52 right here. You can see right there, this one came, This one started growing a lot later. Uh, it took a lot longer for it to develop any actual traps and now that's kind of where it's at. So it's definitely a little behind, but I wasn't really expecting this one to ever take off. So I'm happy now that it's actually finally taking off and, and growing some, some fly traps. But this B52 right here looks really, really good, really healthy. You can see it's actually already catching insects. I'll see if I can get in a little bit closer. You can see that uh, it's already catching gnats um, pretty regularly. All of these have some dead gnats in the traps, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see there's some new growth coming up. Uh, so then over here you have the, the UK sawtooth. I'm gonna turn this a little bit so it's easier for you to see. But this is the UK sawtooth. So you can see there, I'm gonna come in. This one's also catching some gnats, which is awesome. You can see that the traps are not nearly as big, which it's kind of obvious with the B-52s, right? The B-52s are kind of the king of the fly traps, so uh, those are nice big red fly traps. These ones are a little more subtle, um, not turning quite as red, but look really, really healthy. You can see there's a lot of new growth coming in right there. Uh, these ones don't grow as big, uh, but they do grow a little more vigorously than, than the B-52s do. But uh, another thing that's really cool about this is, is this one grew in some really nice sort of mossy ground cover um, with some sphagnum moss. So I didn't plant anything. I know a lot of people probably ask about you know what I did to get this, and I really didn't do anything. I think with the with the peat moss mix that I had, I think the high level of humidity that I had at the beginning of this probably is what caused this to grow so well. This ground cover. So when I first, probably for the first three months or so, I kept this completely covered, and then what that does is it keeps the water on the inside. I got pretty lucky with this one. I didn't have any any white mold to deal with, but you can see. Basically my method that I use here is I put a container inside of a bigger container and then I cover it and the water stays in there. What that does, especially when you cover this like with some saran wrap, what it does is it keeps the water down in there so that it doesn't dissipate as quickly. And I think that level of humidity is what gave me this really nice um, moss here, this nice ground cover moss. So it actually looks really, really cool. I know that's sort of an aesthetic that a lot of people try to achieve. But I think the, the reason that that, that that grew in that way was because of the, the high humidity that I had at the beginning. Right now, what I'm doing is I haven't really changed any of the lighting, but I have, I have taken the cover off. I don't use the cover anymore. Uh, so I do have to water this a little more regularly now, but it's at a point now where it just doesn't need that level of high humidity. Um, it's sort of giving the same care instructions as just a normal Venus flytrap now. Now that they're sort of out of that really, 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 really small baby stage. So. Uh, they're doing really well though. I just wanted to bring you this quick update. Like I said at the beginning, I'm really excited for how these are turning out because I didn't have much hope because the flower stalks that I had were really not that great. I had really limited flower stock. So uh, the fact that I've really gotten anything out of these is really exciting. And uh, But they're really turning into some beautiful flight traps already. So this is, like I said, about a six month update. Thank you again guys so much for being here. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments about what I'm doing to raise these. Everything that I use equipment wise is in the description. So if you want to start 
uh, some of your own flower stock propagations. You guys are more than welcome to go watch my first video so you can see my whole process for this. I have several other propagation videos uh, in my description that you can go check out and, and learn all about it. So it's actually really fun and a really cool way to sort of duplicate your, your Venus flytraps and it's just kind of fun to do anyway. Uh, I won't be putting these through dormancy for the first year. So it's kind of cool you get to kind of keep them for the whole year. You don't have to worry about dormancy in the first year of a Venus flytrap's life. So that's kind of another cool bonus, kind of a benefit, especially if you're growing inside. You can just keep them under your grow lights and continue to watch them grow. Um, but the, yeah, thanks so much for being here, guys. Uh, like I said, any, any questions you have in the comments below, uh, I really appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video. That stuff helps me immensely, and uh, I can't wait to catch you guys in my next video. Bye.